After years of austerity in 2015, Portugal's political engine finally moved in another direction. Despite winning fewer votes than the centre-right, socialist Antonio Costa seized power after successfully forging an unexpected alliance with the Communist Party and left bloc. This new political era was dubbed the Giringonça, a Portuguese word used to describe an unusual contraption that, in spite of all its complex mechanisms, somehow still works. It didn't take long for Portugal to become a poster child. Politicians from both the Netherlands and France came to see if they could learn lessons in the new way of doing things. The authors of the book, How Costa Set Up the Girangonsa in 54 Days, explain the unique conditions that helped bring the alliance about. The left in Europe was in a perilous state. It was unable to gain power in any country. Spain faced successive elections where it had to try to reach coalition agreement. These countries were unable to replicate what had happened in Portugal because populist parties in those countries were far more entrenched. The glue that bound these various left-wing parties that until then had never been able to agree was the need to get rid of the right from power. All the parties who were part of this alliance said the conditions that enabled them to do this appeared once in a lifetime, almost never to be repeated. Originally from Austria, Jorg came to Lisbon for his studies and ended up staying. The recent political alliance in Portugal is seen as an anomaly, but in his country of birth, such coalitions are regarded as the norm. I think that need to negotiate every decision and make decisions together is quite democratic. It might be a bit utopian, but I think that this should be taken into account for rethinking how election results build a government in a democratic country. Despite lasting six years, Portugal's odd political pact recently came to an end. Looking ahead, what do voters think? In a moment like this, elections are always bad. But the worst thing for me is that there is no alternative. I think it makes sense. The more parties are in the equation, the more people are being represented, given that each of us has our own vote and the votes are distributed among the existing parties. The Germans have already copied it. We just didn't sell the copyright. But that's a national problem. We don't make the most of our ideas.